Well, I'm joined now by Nigel Hurst, iChemi president, and also chemical engineer, Ozzy Jaguma. Now, Nigel, I'm going to come to you first because the programme is called um, Engineering a Sustainable World. So what role do chemical engineers play in that? Well, chemical engineers have a vital and unique role in engineering a sustainable world. The UN has issued a challenge to the whole world through its 17 sustainable development goals, and chemical engineers are playing an important, current and vital role in achieving those. For instance, achieving net zero in energy transition sustainable food and water supplies throughout the world and ensuring that pharmaceuticals can be made and distributed in all nations. And um, Ozzy, you're a chemical engineer in the field of uh, biofuel analysis. I wonder if you could just break it down to us why this is important. Sure. Um, making a difference is one of the reasons I chose to be a chemical engineer in the first place. As Nigel mentioned, um, chemical engineering is vital to our way of life and I really, really wanted to be a part of that. Um, chemical engineers are really important for addressing global challenges, including decarbonisation, which is important to the sector I work in, energy. I'm a senior research analyst and I look at biofuels and renewable fuels, and those are important as they're a renewable alternative to fossil fuels. That's really important in hard to decarbonise sectors like aviation or maritime, so biofuels are crucial there. I get to make a difference um, by doing analysis and supporting people to understand the global complex renewable transport fuel market. So Nigel, just coming to the UN Sustainable Development Goals, how is iChemi supporting its members to address those goals? Well, we're using our knowledge, our experience and our reach to build a global community involved in this. We have interfaces with academia, with industry, with politicians and the general public to uh, show them how much chemical engineering can benefit the world. In terms of our members, we are providing continuing professional development uh, so that they can improve their green skills. And we are building a knowledge base of members uh, who we can put in touch with one another so that they can work more effectively together. Mm -hmm. Now, in terms of future-proofing the profession, um, Aussie, you need to encourage the next generation, don't you? So why is this a great career path? I think people don't actually realise how broad chemical engineering can be and the huge variety of roles that you can take within it. Anything that involves a transformation of some kind, a chemical engineer will be involved. So changing something from A to B, a chemical engineer um, is needed there. That means that industries like pharmaceuticals or energy or water or food, that's something that you could be involved with as a chemical engineer. Also, I'd say if the energy transition is important to you and you'd like to work in it, then chemical engineers are some of the people at the forefront of that work. And outside of that, I think that the degree teaches you really great transferable skills like problem solving or analytical skills. So you'd be highly employable wherever you went if you studied chemical engineering. So Nigel, what would your role be in that moving forward? Well, as Ozzy said, everything in the world is a chemical and the production, the use, the disposal and recycling of those involves the work of chemical engineers. So we're looking to attract more people into the profession with the skills and the charisma to uh, achieve the goals that we've set. We have uh, started a new outreach project called Discover ChemEng, uh, aiming to interest STEM students in chemical engineering. We've set up a global community, uh, a digital community where members can interface with one another to get career support through it. And through these and various other initiatives, we're looking to uh, grow 
a, a vibrant and worldwide and increase the importance and the understanding of chemical engineering to the wider public. Okay, Nigel Hurst, Ozzy Jaguma, thank you very much indeed, thank you.